What if I told you that learning slowly isn't a weakness, it's a hidden advantage, and that there are three simple techniques backed by science that can help you understand and remember anything for longer than your smartest classmates? Stay with me, because you're about to discover how your brain is actually built for deep, lasting knowledge. I know a student who failed her college math course, twice. Today, she's tutoring other students in that exact same subject. What changed? She stopped trying to learn like everyone else. She found a few methods that clicked with how her brain works. And the best part? These techniques are more effective than the cramming and rereading most of us were taught in school. I'll share her exact methods in just a moment. If you're watching this, you know the frustration. The teacher moves on and you're still trying to connect the dots. It's easy to think you're just not smart enough, but here's what nobody tells you. Your brain just processes information differently. It's not slower, it's deeper, and that becomes a superpower once you know how to use it. The biggest mistake people make is trying to study like a sprinter when learning is a marathon you wouldn't use the same strategy for both. So, what's the marathon strategy for learning? It starts with the first technique, and it might be the opposite of what you've been doing. Technique number one is about focus. Most students often just skim the surface of a topic. That's why they forget it a week later. Your goal is deep understanding. Here's how you do it. Instead of a long, two-hour study session, you study in short, intense bursts. Take any subject. Break it into the smallest possible pieces. Study just one piece with 100% focus for 20 minutes. No phone, no distractions. When the timer goes off, you must take a five-minute break. Get up, walk around, stretch. Then, repeat with the next piece. This method, sometimes called time chunking, prevents burnout and forces your brain to properly absorb one idea before moving to the next. But the real secret is what you do in those five-minute breaks. Most people waste that break scrolling on their phone, which erases their progress. But if you do one simple thing during that break, you will cement the information in your long-term memory. I'll tell you what that is right after technique number two. Technique number two is called the Feynman Technique, named after a Nobel Prize winning physicist. His rule was simple. You don't truly understand something until you can explain it in the simplest terms. Here's how it works. After you learn something, pretend you have to explain it to a five-year-old. Use simple words, use analogies. If you get stuck or have to use complicated jargon, you've found a gap in your own understanding. Why does this work so well? Because it forces you to move past just memorizing words and build a real foundation. You can't hide behind complexity when you're talking to a kid. And this connects directly to that five minute break secret. Here's what you do during those five minute breaks. Active recall. You simply ask yourself out loud, what did I just learn? And try to explain it. Talk to the wall, talk to your plan. It doesn't matter. This single act of retrieving the information from your brain tells your brain that it's important and worth keeping. This is how you move knowledge from short-term to long-term memory. But the most powerful technique is still to come. The third technique is what I call the secret weapon. It leans into a skill that people who take their time with information are naturally better at. When you use this, learning starts to feel less like work and more like discovery. Technique number three, the story chain method. Your brain isn't built to remember random facts. It's built to remember narratives and connections. When you take your time on a topic, you give your brain space to see the bigger picture. Here's how it works. Connect new information to things you already know. Create weird or funny mental pictures. For example, learning the water cycle. Don't just memorize evaporation, condensation, precipitation. Create a story. Walter the water drop gets so hot from the sun that he turns into vapor and floats up to a big cloud party. At the party, he gets cold and huddles up with all his friends. When the huddle gets too heavy, they all fall back down to earth together. Most students often skip this step of making connections which is why their memory is so leaky. You build it to last. Now remember that student I mentioned at the beginning? She used these exact three techniques and finally started acing her math class. But that's not the end of the story. Using these methods led her to a fourth bonus technique. It was so effective that her professor asked her to start helping other struggling students. Before I reveal that final technique, let me ask you something. How many of you have ever felt like you were the slow one in the room? Comment me below right now. There is no shame in it. Some of the world's most innovative people didn't fit the traditional mold. People like Richard Branson and Steven Spielberg, who both have dyslexia, learned to use their unique way of thinking as a massive advantage. And that's exactly what you're learning to do right now. Okay, here's the bonus technique that changed everything for that student, the teach back method. After you learn something using the first three techniques, find someone and teach it to them. A friend, a parent, anyone who will listen. Here's why this is your secret weapon. When you've had to work hard to understand something, you remember the exact points of confusion. That makes you a fantastic teacher. You can anticipate the questions and explain things with an empathy that someone who just got it will never have. That student started tutoring, and that's when she went from learning the material 
to mastering it. Listen, I want you to understand this. Your brain isn't broken. It's not inferior. It's a deep thinking machine in a world that rewards shallow answers. These techniques work because they align with how your brain is actually built. Stop trying to be a fast learner. Start being a smart learner. If this video helped you, do three things for me. First, hit subscribe and ring the bell. I share learning strategies every week for people who think differently. Second, Try one of these techniques today, just one. Pick the one that sounded best and use it for 20 minutes. Third, share this video with one person who needs to hear this. You have no idea what it could do for them. Remember, your way of learning isn't a disadvantage. It's a different kind of intelligence. And when you learn how to use it, you become unstoppable. I'll see you in the next video. Keep learning, keep growing.